Yo, 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 what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alex Fernayo and I'm very happy to have you guys here and to be back after a couple of months of being absent because I was super busy at school and other things. And I also used that time to clean my whole computer because it was full of trash and I had to format it and reinstall everything again. And, you know, it also helped me to clear my mind and because I wasn't feeling that motivated or inspired to make music or videos. Anyways, I'm back at it with a new tutorial for you guys. Super simple, as you guys read from the title. Some of you might not care about it, some of you will. I do care about it and I wanna share it with you because I find it useful sometimes. So running a full studio at a higher frame rate. What is frame rate, first of all? My quickest and simplest explanation to give you is just the higher the frame rate, the smoother it looks. So right now I'm gonna play uh, this track at 30 frames per second and then at 60 frames per second so you notice the difference. Do you notice that? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is go up here to the meter of FL Studio. You can see my CPU usage is about to explode, uh, the memory, and the voice count. So if you right click on it, you have an option to view FPS, which stands for frames per second. And some of you, or most of you, will be running at 30 frames per second. To change that, you're gonna go to Options, General Settings, and in this box, it doesn't matter uh, right here, if you have keep it pretty, entertain me, keep it sober, or don't distract me, whatever, you can have this all the way up if you have any animations going on. It just depends on your computer because this is obviously gonna affect your performance. You can have that to whatever you want. But there's this option right here called ultra smooth, and that's the key to get a higher frame rate. Watch what happens as soon as I click this and turn it on. You see, I got 60 frames per second just by turning that on. So keep in mind that if you turn that on, it's going to take some of your CPU. So that's it. That's all you need to know to get a higher frame rate. And why 60? Can I go higher? Well, that depends on the monitor you're using. I'm using a 60 hertz monitor. So if you guys are using a monitor with, I don't know, 144 hertz or even higher, Unfortunately, FL Studio is not going to go that high. The highest it can go is up to 72 or 75, I think, uh, frames per second. And I don't know why just ImageLine haven't care about adding that feature to FL Studio because the important thing here is audio quality, not graphics. So in my opinion, 60 frames per second, that's pretty cool, pretty decent for me. I will stick with it. I don't need more. You know, that looks pretty smooth to me. So... I'm, I'm now gonna show you why this is helpful to me. So whenever I'm analyzing a track with a spectrum analyzer, an EQ or compression or something like that, volume meters, um, I like watching what's going on on my track with precision. So as an example, I'm gonna load span. Uh, it's a spectrum analyzer plugin and you can get it for free. And if I play my track, you can see that the spectrum is super fast, right? But it's not smooth. So there are some plugins that do offer the option inside of them to change the frames per second. In this case, this one gives me the option. If I go to the global settings, you see that I'm running at 30 frames per second, but I wanna go to 60 and check the high precision timer box. Now, if I play it, it looks way better, right? way smoother and I can even see with precision like every signal I want, like every sound. Even the clicks from the kick, I can see where they at exactly. Another example would be uh, the Z game editor visualizer from FL Studio. You can change the frame rate over here. You can By default it should be at 30, but you can change it to 60 and make sure you're running FL Studio at 60 frames per second too. This plugin depends on this frame rate. It just looks smoother, right? And there are some plugins that do not depend on FL Studio's frame rate. For example, FabFilter Pro Q3. If I have the frame rate on FL Studio off 
or lower, right, like a 30, this plugin, it's still going to run at 60 frames per second. It's not, this plugin doesn't give me the option to change it, but by default, it's going to run at the higher frame rate, as long as your computer is capable of running it, right? So if I play it, you can see that it looks pretty smooth, even though I'm running at 30 frames per second. And if I turn that on, There's no difference because it's already running at the higher frame rate it can. It just depends on the plugin you're using. If you care about that on these plugins, try to see if it has an option to change the frame rate. And also search what's the higher frame rate this plugin can go to, right? So the main thing you should care about is on Alpha Studio, turning on the ultra smooth button right here. And with that, you'll be able to run any plugin you want on Alpha Studio at the highest frame rate it can. And as I mentioned before, this is not only because it looks prettier and smoother, it's also helpful sometimes if you want to see exactly or with precision what's going on in your track. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, make sure you leave those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.